Okay, so uh, we are at the abandoned trailer park. Um, I don't really know much about this place at all, uh, except for the fact that it's just full of brightly painted uh, abandoned trailers. Um, it's a super fun spot, and we haven't been here in a little while, so I'm excited to see what's changed. Um, the first thing like that you come to when you get here are these little, little like one room shacks i don't really want to call them shacks they're cabins cabins um and there's like a probably a dozen of them uh they're super cool just like little vacation shacks so you just had one simple little room kitchen area i guess this would have been i don't know I guess that's not actually a bathroom. Um, so yeah, just a little little vacation cabin. And the whole place sits right next to extremely active uh, train tracks. It's just constantly trains going back and forth. Oh, that's so cool. Well, plastic wear. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like just getting in your way. So this one actually had bunk beds. And we've got some furniture left over. Quite a bit left in this one. Ooh. Delicious. Here's another one. I'm not gonna go in every single one of these. I think I've already been in most of them. Um, but they are cool because they're all a little bit different and uh, you can tell that they've definitely been abandoned for a long time. Um, stuff left behind. Yeah, here's one that'll give you a good sense of just how long this place has been uh, abandoned. I mean, that's... I'm no expert. I have no idea how long it takes for 
trees like this to grow up, but it's quite a bit of growth. This looks like a good, good spot for a couple quick photos. Yeah, I said earlier I wasn't gonna go into every single one, but it's like, it's hard not to. Yeah. And I always think that I've already been in most of these places, but I'm, this doesn't seem familiar to me, so maybe I've never been in this one? I don't think I went in any of these small ones the last time I was here. I've never been in this one. This was always one of my favorites just because of all the vines that are growing down. I just think that's super cool looking. I'm gonna need to change my battery soon. I've taken a lot more video today than I, uh... Did you bring one? Yeah, I brought one. Because I did too. <laughs> okay, good. Now, there's just so many of these. This one's destroyed. Is it? Let me go and check out this other one. good old furniture in these places. Okay, and look how many we still have. Like, I can see from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe? At least ten. Gosh, there are so many of these things, and we've already passed and been in another ten or so, probably. There's just so much to explore here. And they don't seem that exciting. It's not like, you know, some big old school building or factory, but just the fact that there's so many of them and there's, you know, weird, random, everyday items left behind. Um, it just makes it such a such an interesting place to explore. And then here we go, we start with the trailers and they just go on and on. And so many of them are painted crazy colors.
and the master bedroom. See again with the the great furniture. Got bunk beds. Definitely one of my favorite places to shoot. Jake, I'm gonna I'm gonna dip in real quick while yep, you do it. line up your shot. Trees are ruining my. Oh, this one's nasty. There's so much stuff left in here. I can't even get through here. Okay. Yeah, it's just. Nasty stuff everywhere. Old cans of food. All right, I need to change my battery and take a few photos. Wait, does that mean this place has only been like this for like 10 years now? I could see 10 years. There was, there's some Benadryl. Like, well, how long does Benadryl usually last for? Okay. Benadryl that's expired 10 years ago.
And as you can see on this side, there's still more of those cabins. Cabins on one side, trailers on the other. Eight track country sizzlers volume one. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Uh, that is probably the best one out of all the country sizzlers. <laughs> country sizzlers. Is that a CD? Country sizzlers. Country sizzlers. Check out a few more of these uh, cabins. Oh man, this one's this one's really bad. I just want to point out how perfectly the wall color matches the couch. I love all the ones with the bunk beds. I think that's cool. How small this bathtub is. I've always liked this watermelon colored one. This really old looking blue one. Even the inside is painted uh, pink.
nasty chair. Still going. This place is just huge. I always forget how many trailers there are and cabins and everything else. I never think of it as being that big of a spot because I guess each each little building and trailer is kind of small, but I suppose the overall square footage kind of makes up for it. The sheer number of these places. just destroyed. I don't remember it being that bad last time I was here. Good enough. Maybe not. I love the floor in here. Oh yeah, that's good floor. Yeah. I'm not in your shop at all, am I? To me? Yeah. Okay. I've never seen these chairs before. I just like this one. I think this is my favorite right now. Yeah, there's just so much here. 
I and mean, it just keeps going and going. Um, I'll probably have to come back and do another video, especially because in the summer it looks completely different when everything's really overgrown. There's a lot of greenery. Um, yeah, it's just, it, this video would be hours long if I were to try to show you every trailer and every cabin. There's so much. And some of them are in really rough shape. But uh, you get the idea. I mean, there's just so many of these little places and they're all different. Different stuff in them, so. I think I'll probably go ahead and end the video here. I'm gonna try to get some photos before we uh, pack up and head back home. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and uh, yeah, definitely like and subscribe. Um, and I will be sure to post another video from this place here uh, in a couple months or so. Uh, so, yeah, thanks a lot.